Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and you're watching Coffee Tea Paper and specifically you're watching me trying to catch up on my on my journal spreads. Uh, so I thought I'd come on and we'd do it together today because I'm finding that if I can record my video and record my voice at the same time it's maybe not as polished but it's certainly quicker for me to edit. So let's do that. Um, so what I want to do today is use some of the things that I got in some recent happy mail uh, from my pen pal Helen, who is part of Cheery Letters on Instagram and also Etsy. And uh, yeah, let's just get stuck into it. I've got some glue, I've got some bits, I've got a stamp, I've got a journal, yeah. There's not much more we can do, is there? Uh, yes, so this was the, this is week 15. I'm trying to catch up on week 15 and week 16. So we'll see how we go because we don't want it getting too long. Um, yes, try putting the clip on. Um, and this was the second week of the school holidays. It had a little carryover of... Easter and I started back playing golf so not not very well um, <laughs> the the uh, the rest or the break from it certainly hasn't uh, done my golf game any favors however I did par a par four so that was uh, on that was on Friday and uh, yeah so that was my that was my take home win from from that day of getting back into a golf you have to take some of these uh, some of the, I think sometimes when you're on the golf course you, you basically have to sort of look at what was your take home achievement on that day sometimes it might be just that you scored on every hole. Uh, sometimes it might be that you managed to par a hole. <laughs> uh, sometimes it might be just that you turned up and it was a beautiful day. Uh, yeah, it, I guess it depends. There might be some uh, very good golfers out there. I still consider myself a relative newbie because uh, I've only been playing since 20, 2019 and I had a big chunk off during that time because of obvious reasons where no one was allowed to leave the house. <laughs> well, weren't they fun times? Yes. So I'm just looking at where I want to put this bunny. I did kind of want him over near Easter Monday, but I think that kind of spot lends itself a bit better. And I also think he needs a little bit of a background. So this was part of the packaging that Helen had repurposed uh, for my Happy Mail. And uh, so I am going to re-repurpose it and um, put it in my... A journal. I'm just going to keep her sticker there because I'm going to put that in my memory keeping journal. So that is for another time. And I obviously want to minimize this bit. So let's just cut down here because I want to maximize the uh, spread with the pattern on it uh, and I can always use these smaller bits and then we're going to cut across here and we're going to cut across here and now I've got a nice chunk I reckon, oh, I wonder if I can peel this bit off and maximize even more. Oh, oh well, perhaps not. I might be able to stick something over it. Oh, let's just 
do it. We'll work it out, hey? Okay, we need to do a bit of creative tearing. Oh, see if I do it this way, then I have the pattern going in the correct direction. And uh, yeah, and I want to leave space uh, for at least one of Mel's lovely golf stickers. I uh, probably, uh, probably will use two because I played golf twice. I can't actually remember if I did anything of significance on the first day. I think I actually scored quite well. Um, which was kind of ironic given I couldn't really do a full swing. Um, oh, no, that was no good. Okay, so let's... Let's pop that there like that. Uh, yeah, if there are any fellow golfers out there, I would love to hear from you, say hello. Um, let's not tell each other our handicaps because I would be very embarrassed about mine. Mine uh, was going very much in the correct direction there and I, I thought uh, it was you know a sign that I had mastered <laughs> mastered the game oh the irony and uh, yeah then I don't know just a number of things started to creep into my game that were not very good. You get sort of bad habits and sometimes you don't notice them um, and little things creep in or you might go through a phase where for some reason you just can't putt uh, and you can't read the greens at all and all of a sudden you might be on the green for two or three shots and then what do you do? You then do three or four putts and all of a sudden that hole is no good <laughs> anymore. Uh, but you know, it's, it's funny because I do like a challenge but sometimes I think when you feel that you have mastered something you get kind of blasé about it and uh, Golf is not one of those things. Uh, I think that's what keeps uh, me coming back. And I think I will be playing it for as long as I possibly can. And I will probably never really feel that I uh, will master it. Um, which uh, I know drives some people absolutely nuts and causes them to give up on the game uh, but I think that's actually what keeps me engaged and just that that ever that ever uh, driving optimism of one day one day you will you'll have that magical round where everything goes right and you do something incredible and yeah, you might be shocking the next day, but if you get that one day, it's what keeps you going. I actually won a trophy, a, a, um, not last year, but the year before. Um, and I think that was when I peaked. <laughs> our, our club had a competition, it has it every year. And uh, in this particular competition, I just happened to have one of those magical days uh, where just everything seemed to go right at the right time um, and I can't tell you how rare that actually is uh, but it was a magical day and uh, and I walked away with the trophy and I was very thrilled because out of <clears throat> all the competitions to to play in 
there was one where you get to keep the trophy and because they make a new one every year um, so yeah um, and who knew when you are no longer a young fit athlete <laughs> that you can still walk away with a big shiny trophy and uh, possibly be even more thrilled than the ones that you won in your youth <laughs> when you thought your trophy winning days were perhaps behind you. Anyway, I do digress. I have promised before not to talk too much about golf, uh, so I will leave it there. Uh, yeah, so I'm just trying. Oh, these. Um, so I'm not sure if you saw Happy Mail that Helen sent me. I did a video on opening some, and uh, I will leave a link up here. Uh, but I cannot get over the intricacy of these fussy cuts. They're from a book, um, obviously a botanical drawing uh, from a book. And they are just insanely intricate and detailed. Uh, the patience involved, mind-blowing, I have to say. Now, do we want two, or does that look a bit too symmetrical. I'm a bit worried about this birdie. I think he needs to be more like that. I'm getting a bit heavy over this side of the page but that's okay. I think I can live with that. Maybe we need something down here. Do you kind of pseudo measure out your um, paper, like your rippy paper for doing your spreads, or do you just rip it and then decide where you're going to place it? I uh, like the look of the torn edges, but I also like them to fit the space nicely. Uh, so yeah, I, I kind of cheat and um, try and make sure that it still fits in the space. Yeah, so we had our journal, our inaugural South East Queensland Journal Keepers Meetup. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, we tried to have a little mini brainstorm, but everyone kind of went, well, it says who we are and where we are and what we do, so what else do you want? Uh, which is perfectly true, um, really. Uh, of course, we have now got an acronym because, you know, what's, what's a group without some acronyms? It just wouldn't work, would it? Governments would go out of business. And, uh, oh no, where did I put my little... They're so delicate, <laughs> I was losing it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so S-E-Q-J-K. And we have a hashtag, which is hashtag S-E-Q Journal Keepers. And, uh, yes, yeah, so we have our inaugural meetup last Saturday and I have to tell you this is like true confessions time um, I was I was so nervous beforehand um, not nervous in a bad way like you know but nervous excited like like or not that I've ever been on a blind date but kind of like a blind date it must be like people who 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 find people on the well it is like people who find people on the internet because where did I find these people on the internet oh my gosh um but <laughs> yeah how um 
uh, you know, and they they come out and they they have met someone and and they're meeting them for the first time, but they're engaged or something like that, and. Uh, yeah, so I kind of had that nervous excitement of meeting people who were already important to me and who I already felt that I knew so many of them very well because a couple of them are pen pals who I've had for quite some time. Um, a couple of them are people who I regularly chat to uh, over over Instagram uh, DMs and, and so forth um, or people who I've um, uh, chat to or, or have comments from and reply to on YouTube uh, which so it was it was just it was so much fun and it, it, you know when, when you have a hobby that um, you're actually passionate enough to commit yourself to go and meet a bunch of essentially strangers uh, and commit a whole day out of your weekend travel time then going there not to mention beforehand like deciding you know what you're going to take and what you're going to wear and and that kind of thing and and a couple of the um, uh, couple of journal keepers sorry I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing at the same time um, a couple of journal keepers actually made little gift packs for everybody which was so so sweet um, just I've, I've sidelined them to work into my April memory keeping so they they you'll get to see them um, when I do that which given today is the 27th we're not too far off the end of April are we oh gosh I love these I love these so much this now needs a couple of golf stickers and some washi tape that sort of has greens and florals in it so I'm just going to pause and grab a couple of those things and uh, yeah we'll get back into it okay so I've been and I've grabbed some of these washi tapes I've got a couple of note and wish um, <clears throat> this actually might be a note and wish too and this one I don't know where I got this one I think it might have been typo actually uh, yeah so and then I also have my cutie cute cute foxy golf stickers from Mel who has been traveling for work I believe so I hope she has had as much of an enjoyable trip as you can when you need to travel for work. I remember those days very well. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Okay, I like him. With his green cap. And for this one, oh, I've got the other. I've, oh, one of the ladies, um, I wonder if he's holding up a sign that says quiet, please. Because when you see the golf tournaments, like we're watching the Masters as well on TV. Um, you know, they have the people who hold up the, the quiet, please signs. So I wonder if that's what he's saying. Um, I think I'm going to use this one up here I'm gonna cry I think when these are finished <laughs> don't worry I'll do it I'll do it privately in my own time I won't uh, I won't share that with you guys <laughs> um, lots of these flowers go all which way so let's do a strip down the middle here and
I want to tear this one but tear it in a way that I don't tear the flowery bits <laughs> so I'm going to put that there uh, this I might put over here see I would definitely need to get some of this green in yeah so I used to travel a lot for work because my um, I, my team I had half a team here in Brisbane and the other half down in Canberra so that was really convenient uh, and so I had to because my job was uh, had a national focus uh, but I was um, because we had we had offices all over the the country, um, I was able to uh, work out of where I live most of the time, most of the time. But because half of my team was located down in Canberra, uh, the the higher ups. Uh, said that I must go down there for once a week every month um, so that was always quite disruptive with two children and a husband who also travels for work uh, so we were able to juggle it always so that if he was away because uh, he often has to go to various places around the country as well so we were always able to juggle it that we never had a time where we were away at the same time but we did have a few times where we were away in consecutive weeks um, which was really quite quite a strain on the family I have to say um, and look, I, I loved my job, don't get me wrong, um, I absolutely loved it and I have a lot of pride in what I did and what I achieved, but it did not make for a happy, a happy family and uh, yeah, so, so when, um, when they were having budget cuts and and uh, they were looking for redundancies um, someone who had to fly and be put up for a week in accommodation and needed expensive software and um, <laughs> needed a regular um, professional development hours uh, to keep up with um, uh, like developments in statistical research and so forth uh, yeah their gaze dropped quite firmly onto me <laughs> and uh, that was okay um, it, it worked out for the best, I have to say. Um, yeah. I like her sitting there. I have no idea what she's doing, but I just like her sitting there. And I like her, her olivey green. Oh, I wonder if this was the week where the olive, um, the olive uh, Traveler's Notebooks were released. I can't remember now. Oh, gosh, wouldn't that be funny if that was the case? Ah. I'm just going to think that maybe it was. <laughs> I'm going to put her in as well. I'm going to put her up here. Yes. I don't know. What do you think? I quite like it. It's kind of themed in a random kind of way. <laughs> We've got birds and rabbits and foxes. That's very nature, isn't it? We've got flowers and plants. Oh, more nature. And uh, and then we have some olive and brown tones and 
some of this kind of maroney purple oh, so it's color coordinated as well wow <laughs> <laughs> okay well let's pause there before the man with all the heavy machinery comes and uh, makes a whole lot of noise yes yeah, so I'm gonna stop the video here because it's already 25 minutes <laughs> and I shall do week 16 in a different video so thank you so much for watching uh, if you haven't please subscribe like comment you know blah -de blah and uh, yeah, let's have a closer look at the apparently surprisingly coordinated pages. Bye.